Hey everyone, Reese here from Levity Vans, an adventure van conversion company here in Santa Cruz, California. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at our most premium build to date, a Levity Legend made completely out of bamboo. We are so excited to take a tour of this van, so without further ado, let's get into it. This beautiful home on wheels is built on a 2022 Sprinter 144 4x4 chassis. The 144 chassis is our favorite to build on because it can fit in any parking space with ease, especially when using the incredible 360 degree camera. On the exterior of the van, we have the Owl Van's rear ladder tire carrier, which allows us to mount our 27 gallon fresh water tank in the spare tire compartment. We have van speed capsules on the exterior of the van, enabling you to sleep sideways in your bed. And finally, we have a Fiyama awning with external lighting for providing shade on those especially hot days. As you can probably see, the awning came in very handy because literally seconds after deploying it, it started pouring down rain and I was able to stay dry, except for the fact that I needed to get these shots of the van with the awning out. So after that, I was able to stay dry underneath the awning and I was very happy to have it. As great as it is to be in the outdoors, sometimes it can bring unwanted guests, like mosquitoes. <sighs> Which is why this van is equipped with Roll-F magnetic bug screens. Bug screens are located at the rear doors and in the sliding door. When it's time to deploy the screen, simply unclip this strap and zip the screen to the mount. Now, you can walk through with ease, knowing that it will shut behind you. I know I don't do this very often, but I just had to pop in to tell you guys how much we love this little shoe cubby over here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a shoe cubby look this good before. Just the bamboo, like the edge grain on the inside, the curvature, and then even the little bamboo, like backsplash behind it, like, it's awesome. We're, we're really, really happy with how it came out. Uh, the beveled edges, they put a chamfer on the edge. Like our guys really pulled out all the stops on this van. Um, also this uh, angle aluminum is perfection. So, all right, back to the tour. Once inside, you can see that this van packs a lot into a very open layout for such a small space. We have a full kitchen galley, a floor to ceiling cabinet, and a fixed bed with your garage underneath. Normally in this space, we would have a Bellagio folding seat. Uh, it's a two person jump seat with seat belts that folds up out of the way when not in use, so all the space stays open. Uh, it just has not arrived yet. <laughs> so the space is open for now, but it doubles as extra seating for passengers whenever you're driving and as part of your dining room with the lagoon table and two swivel seats that we have here. So in the meantime, please enjoy these other clips and photos of other Bellagio seats that did arrive on time. And uh, back to the tour. <laughs> Let's start with the galley. All of the cabinetry in this van is made with bamboo plywood, which means you get this beautiful texture and edge grain on all of the edges of the wood. The galley is 36 inches long and includes a flip up countertop, which extends the entire length to 55 inches. We have an inset induction cooktop, which runs off of your electrical system, meaning you'll never have to refill another propane bottle. A 15 inch by 15 inch Rivati deep sink gives you plenty of space for doing dishes, and a pull down sprayer allows you to wash out your sink with ease. The faucet is filtered, but we have a designated drinking water faucet here, and a soap dispenser here, which makes doing dishes a breeze. We installed a Ritson's Hydronic Heating System for the hot water and cabin air heat. This system utilizes a heat exchanger for your engine's coolant and a diesel furnace to give you cabin heat and on-demand, unlimited hot water. So doing dishes in the winter is actually enjoyable. Since we installed the fridge in the floor-to-ceiling cabinet, 
you have so much space in your kitchen galley for all of your kitchen cookware. Here, we have four drawers that increase in size, and a full height cabinet makes a great location for a trash can and cleaning supplies. On the exterior of the galley, we have a fold down countertop, which is held in place by this locking pin and some super cool magnets. It's perfect for outdoor cooking or serving. We use the Lagoon table for our table mount, and we love how versatile it is. You can swivel it easily, adjust the height, and also add additional mounts so that you can move the table to different locations in the van. Your tabletop rests against the floor to ceiling cabinet, so it stays nice and tucked away, yet very easy to access. In the driver's side panel, we install a sliding window from Van Windows Direct. These are great because you can open them for additional airflow and they also have a screen to keep out bugs. The floor to ceiling unit is one of our favorite aspects of our builds and we have designed it so that you can have the most space for the best appliances in your van. In the bottom cabinet, we have a composting toilet on a drawer slide that doubles as your step to get into bed. Above that, we have an Isotherm Cruise 130 12-volt refrigerator, which gives you 4.7 cubic feet of space. Plenty of room for multiple weeks of groceries. Above that, we have a microwave that doubles as an air fryer and even a convection oven. It's also great for baking cookies. Mmm. Oh, that's hot. Finally, above that, we have another storage cabinet, which we think is the perfect place for electronics. Moving above our heads, we have our overhead cabinets, which contain probably my favorite feature of this van, the control panel, but more on that in a moment. We have four individual overhead cabinets in this van. Two over the galley, and two over the foot of the bed. These cabinets were all cut out of the same piece of bamboo so that the grain matches the entire length of the cabinets. Inside, we have Blum soft close hinges. The cabinets over the galley are a little bit shorter so that you don't bonk your head when you are cooking. Something we unfortunately learned from experience. <laughs> the cabinets over the galley have dimmable lights, which come in very handy when it gets dark and you want to preserve your night vision. Remember earlier when I was talking about that really cool control panel? Well, this is what I was talking about. Here we have a quarter inch bamboo control panel that houses all of the controls for the entire van. So we have our inverter, our battery level monitor, our fresh and uh, gray water tank. We have our Ritson's control panel for the hot water and heat. We have the water pump, garage light, bed lights, I'm sorry, cabin lights, bed lights, kitchen lights, and the awning light. Pretty sweet. And all of the controls are laser engraved so you know exactly what each thing does. On the inside of the cabinet, we have buttons like battery heaters, water tank heaters, and a city water override switch. Above the driver and passenger seat, we have our overhead shelf. This shelf makes a great use of space that would otherwise be totally wasted. And it's a great place to store bulky items like shoes, window covers, or a welcome mat for your van. On the ceiling, we have two zone dimmable lights and a max air fan for ventilation. This fixed bed is 79 and a half inches long by 60 inches wide. We use van speed capsules on all of our builds because we love the way they look on the outside and they give us even more space than other companies who build similar products. The inside of the capsules are trimmed with the same fabric as the ceiling to give a really nice two-toned look. The fabric colors in this van are a light blue and soft tan, which remind us so much of the beaches here in Santa Cruz. We love incorporating textures and colors in our vans that make them feel more like a home than a vehicle.
Above the bed, we have two LED touch reading lights, which also have a red function to preserve your night vision. In the capsules, we have a USB outlet as well as a full 120 volt outlet if you wanted to charge your phone or laptop from bed. Here, we have a wired remote for the vent fan so that if you get hot at night, you can easily just push this button and the vent fan will turn on, keeping you nice and cool. In each capsule, we have a half sliding window that provides an incredible amount of airflow when paired with a max air fan in the front of the vehicle. Under the bed, we have our garage, which houses additional gear and the electrical and plumbing cabinets. A slide out tray made of hexa plywood and paired with L-Track allows you to mount gear such as mountain bikes and duffel bags. And since everything is on a 500 pound drawer slide, it's all very easy to access. On the driver's side, we have our electrical cabinet which houses 300 amp hours of Battleborn batteries and a 3000 watt Xantrex inverter. Those batteries are charged from a single 400 watt solar panel on the roof. Shore power is also included, so you can top off your batteries very easily and efficiently. A master cutoff switch is positioned near the cabin of the van so that all of the electrical can be quickly shut off in the event of an emergency or if the van will need to be in storage for a while. On the passenger side, we have our plumbing cabinet, which houses the Ritson's hydronic heating system, water pumps, and the outdoor shower. The chrome outdoor shower easily pulls out of the cabinet, and the engraved bamboo faceplate lets you control everything with ease. The shower has a start-stop function to preserve water, as well as a continuous flow if you're hooked up to city water. A 27-gallon fresh water tank is located in the spare tire compartment, with a fill on the exterior of the van. The 11 gallon gray water tank is located beneath the side step with an electronic ball valve for easy emptying. Above each of the wheel well boxes are storage cubbies for your gear, and they make a great place to store your outdoor equipment like bike helmets, extra clothes, or towels for drying off after a surf. Under the bed, we have an LED strip to illuminate the garage so that you never have to fumble around in the dark. Lastly, on each cabinet, there is a quick access hatch to quickly get to important components for maintenance. Well, this concludes our tour of our latest van. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at lovedyvans.com. And until then, I'll see you next time. Adventure awaits.